All right, people, welcome back to the last deck profile for the previous lineup. So after this, these decks will be gone and we'll be continuing on with the current decks on the lineup until the mid of January. So uh, previous Friday's deck is Despot. So I'm gonna go over the Despot deck that I was playing, my opinions, what I like, what I don't like. You guys can go ahead and take the deck, play with it, whatever you want, or you can go ahead and make changes up to you, I don't care. So. Anyway, starting it off, we're running Despot 6. Do I like Despot 6? No, I do not like Despot 6. He's probably one of my least favorite Despot, but you gotta run him. And it sucks, it sucks that you have to run him. Uh, him being the Pentium Scale 1 that has synergy with one of my favorite Despots, being Despot 5. Uh, his his Pentium effects kinda sucks, like you can only special summon, I mean, you can only Pentium summon Despot monsters, uh, whatever, who cares. Uh, I mean, the only other monster that I'm not playing in here that can't Pentium summon would be Machine of Fortress. This kinda sucks, but it's not too terrible. You know, Machine of Fortress can summon itself. It doesn't need your Despot pity. Anyway, uh, the monster effect is kinda meh, too. Uh, when this card is normal summon special summon, you could target a monster on the field and change battle position. Okay, I mean, I guess. I've never been a biggest fan of that. I think it helped me in like one duel, and only that duel, because my opponent was taking the duel so slow, and I was like, yo, screw it, flip, you go to attack position, and I'm gonna wreck your face. But besides that, meh. Uh, being level six, of course, unless I pendulum summon it, it's gotta be tribute summoned, and I don't like that either. Nor am I gonna use one of my trans modifies to turn Deathbot five into Deathbot six. I, I just don't see it. This card gains 500 attack and defense for each face up Deathbot monster in your extra deck, but you can clearly see I'm not running seven anymore because I hate them even more than I hate six. So, this buff five is probably not gonna. I mean, this buff six is probably not gonna be that strong. And uh, this card in your pendulum zone is destroyed. You can target one death monster you get right added to your hand. That's not too terrible. It, didn't, it really didn't happen. It really didn't happen that often, but at least it deters my opponent from destroying my pendulum scale. So, yeah. But you gotta run six. Uh, there's no choice. You wanna run five? You gotta run six. And I was looking. I was like hoping that there would be something else as a pendulum scale one. The only other card I could find that you know could warrant this without any restrictions is uh, Dragon Pulse Magician. Also another Pendulum 1 scale. It's a normal monster, but at least it's an 18 beater. It looks like a normal summon. At least it's not stuck in my hand if I can't Pendulum summon it on like Death Spot 6. Uh, I'll probably never get off its Pendulum effect, but hey, you know, so it's debatable. You can either run this or you can either run Death Spot 6, but either or you gotta run the other. Because uh, you want you want to get your Pendulum scale down to 2 because you do want to Special Summon, i.e. Pendulum Summon Death Spot 2. So, eh. The choice is yours, really, the choice is yours. Uh, of course, Deathbot 5, Pendulum Scale up to 10, which is just, whew! Uh, my, one of my favorite Deathbot monsters. Um, this card is normal summon special summon, I pop back row, you know? Popping back row is just, it feels so good, like, you, ugh, oh my, orgasmic. Uh, this card gains 500 attack and defense for each Deathbot monster in your extra deck. Once again, doesn't happen very often, with 6 and 5 being my own Pendulum Scales. Uh, and literally, this is what we have in the TCG currently. We don't have 7 and 8 in the TCG, and Deathbot are doing fine without them, so clearly, we really don't need them, but I'll go over them um, at the end of deck profile. Uh, and then when it's destroyed in my pendulum zone, I can just have a despot monster on graveyard and special summon it. That's pretty good, so monster born. So go ahead and get the monster back in my hand or special summon it. These two are fine together. So uh, like I said, it's debatable. You can either run, you can run this and then uh, change battle positions not very often, but when it's destroyed, you go ahead and get that despot monster in your graveyard out of your hand, or you can run this, which doesn't have an effect, really you're not going to be pulling off the pendulum effect, but at least it's the 18-beater that can be normal summoned if need be, and it's a level 4, so, you know, the rank 4 plays are there as well, so, uh, so, there's your pendulum scales, I don't like these, I'll go with that. Uh, Despot 4, my favorite Despot, I love Despot 4, he just, he puts in so much work, you run, you run through Despot 4. Uh, when he runs over something, you get to go ahead and summon two desktop monsters from your graveyard with different levels, or or graveyard from or your hand defense position from different levels. Their effects are not negated; they get to go off. So, you know, I would love to go ahead and just go. All right, desktop four, get it in. Summon desktop five, desktop five, pop some back row. So, yeah, and then DM will just go attack. All right, desktop four, send desktop five, and increase your uh, your attack by the level of desktop five. So I'm gonna be going up by 25. I'm gonna be a 3,000 B that's gonna run over your monster and then summon desktop five to pop your back row. It's just just really good, so Despot 4 is probably my favorite Despot in here. Then we got Despot 3. You already know what he does when he's on something, especially when Despot monster from your deck. Simple as that. Uh, so he's definitely a 3 of. Like, the majority of these Despots is just like 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So Despot 3, normal summon, special summon Despot 2, Despot 2, and special summon gets search, or you can summon Despot 4. And it's uh, another effect pretty good too. So once per turn, if I turn, you can target one Despot uh, monster you control, it gains 500 second turns for each Despot card you currently control until the end of this turn. That includes your pendant skill. So you can literally just go right, during the damage dump and let the bushes get all that uh, big old juicy attack. So Despot 3 is definitely a 3 of as well. Despot 2 also a 3 of. It's 
this card trust you can add one death card from your deck to your hand all the machine type monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense it's really good so you can just go all right that's about three uh, no seven death plus three, death plus three, search some death by two, death by two, search for whatever, you know. So uh, death by two is definitely a three as well, as long, especially with uh, trans modify and um, and uh, machine dupe and pendulum summon. Uh, that's the reason why you have to play a skill one, so you can pendulum summon stuff, special summon that death by two to get that search. So I'm only running one death by one. Uh, I decided to go ahead and go with the flow. Uh, personally, I really like death by one. I think death by one is probably one of the coolest death spots in my opinion. Yet people think otherwise and it's kind of sad just kind of tear brings a tear to my eye that uh people don't like death spot one as much as i do uh against five hundred and defense for each machine type monster you control that's pretty good it can be a pretty big beater for being a level one monster uh the only problem it, with it and the majority of the time that why people don't like it is because it can't be special it's level one your scale is between 10 and one you can't summon that one so yeah uh but if it, two or more machine type monsters are special summoned at the same time with this card uh, it's in your graveyard, except during dem step, which means that you can't be like, alright, Deathbot 4, attack, kill those two. I mean, kill a monster, summon these two, and then Deathbot 1 will go off. The Deathbot 4 goes off during dem step, so that's the reason why they put that. Uh, you can special summon this card, so pretty much, i.e., when you punch him summon two, he can come back. Uh, I was running more than one, but I kind of just wanted to go with the flow like everybody else. I was like, ah, fine, fuck it. Uh, really, I really do like Deathbot 1. Deathbot 1 is probably one of my favorite Deathbots. Uh, easy to easily to have synergy with uh, Machine of Fortress and uh, Transmodify, so uh, if I was going to make any changes to this deck, like, absolutely, I'd maybe take out the two Dark Holes and put in two Deathbot 1s and have three Deathbot 1s, because I really like Deathbot 1. I really like it with this card, I really like it with this card, and uh, even <laughs> Machine Dupe's not too bad either, because, uh, what, this card gains 500 attack for each Machine type monster you control, so if I summon two, I mean, that's three, what, 2,000 beaters? So they would each gain... 1500 because it's three machines, 1500. So, that, like I said, that that's not bad. That is not bad. So, uh, if I was going to change anything, take out the three dark holes, put in three uh, death spot ones. Alright, uh, as you can see, there's six cards here and then there's six cards here. I was running them and I said take them out because I didn't like them. You know, just like with these guys, it's kind of like you draw them and if you can't fend them, some of them, they just kind of clog your hand. It's just like, eh. You know, their effects aren't too, I wasn't too blown away by them, and I was like, you know, this deck is a little bit too pendulum, but not enough pendulum, you know? It, it was it was, it was was too much pendulum, not enough pendulum, and I wasn't into it. So I decided to go ahead and take them out. So I was like, well, okay, well, what do I replace them with? Well, these are machines, they're Earth, so screw it, let's go ahead and run the Machina engine. Why not? So, of course, you guys know, Machina Gearframe, when Snow Summon, add a Machina monster, so good, add that Fortress. And then Fortress, of course, has synergy as well with all its machines. There's no bad thing about Machina Fortress, Machina Fortress is all good. Uh, and like I said, I would like to run multiple ones because, you know, I can go ahead and just go, alright, I'll have one in my hand, I don't plan on normal summon it, let's just go ahead and, you know, pitch it with four Machine of Fortress and give them Machine of Fortress, why not? Or especially Machine of Fortress, normal summon Death Spot 1 and sync it up, why not? So, uh, I really do like the Machine of Fortress engine in here, and like, like I said, personally, I, even if 7 and 8 came out in the uh, TCG and I was running Death Spots, I wouldn't even run them. Because I just don't feel like I, all they do is increase the consistency of your pendulum summon, but they're not worth the dead draw, you know. So yeah, really like machine Dune. And another reason why I was so you know hyped about running this is because Earth uh, machine level four, so transmodify right up into that boop 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 level five, pop a background. So that's really good. You know what? Let me go ahead. Since I was talking about it, let me just go ahead and make changes now because I, I, I I'm fucking with the flow. I'm creative and I'm fun with it. So yes. Three death spot one. You don't like it? Suck my death spot dick. All right, because there's a lot of synergies in here. Not only does it have synergy with ton of synchro plays, but it also can be pitched to uh, special summon uh, machine of for fortress. To just I'll pitch one special summon. Uh, but there's also one more thing that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about uh, that makes it so you guys might be like, you know what? Maybe I should run a little bit more machine of fortress. I uh, mean uh, death spot one because he's actually pretty good. And then two maxis. Maxi at three clogs. Uh, like I said, go ahead and drop the max C, drop a storm. Uh, either my opponent can go in or they can. Either way, I'm gonna be drawing some cards and I'm gonna be getting ready to go into more death five plays. Kind of a filler card, why not? All right, uh, spells, Rigaki, sure. Wipe my opponent's uh, monsters. Not, no harm to me. I said dark hole is kind of iffy because sometimes you don't want to dark hole yourself. I mean, but yeah, definitely Rigaki. That's a given. Uh, limit removal. They are all machines. Let me go ahead and get it in and push for that OTK FK. Uh, soul charge. They go to the graveyard. Let me soul charge them back and go into some synchro T plays. Why not? Uh, machine dupe at three. Yes. Uh, I can machine dupe you and you and you and you and you and you and you. So why not? So 
uh, this deck seems like it was made for a machine dupe. So I never really got the opportunity to play it. When I first I saw that spot, I'm like, wow, this deck is just made for machine dupe, isn't it? And uh, yes, it is, because the plays are just totally fun. So yes, three machine dupes. And then the card that I love. Someone in the comment section told me, don't run the transmodify. No, I love the transmodify. I love this card. So uh, I suck one face up monster. Uh, I control special summon from my deck. Uh, one monster with the same attribute and type as that monster is integrated but one level higher it's just so good so and are you ready for this are you ready for this all right you want to special summon two right you're saying oh one's not that good one's not that good you but i want to special summon two to get the search summon one transmodify summon two get the search one's in the graveyard you got your two search so good so good all right uh three summon two get the search all right, now I got a three and a two. They're not really gonna do much. What am I gonna do with a three and a two? I just searched for a death monster. Oh wait, charge modify, turn three into four, four, attack over something, and then four can go ahead and special summon that death monster that you just added to your hand with three. So good. Four, charge modify four into five, pop some back row. Charge modify machine and gear frame into five, pop some back row. So good, you know? I would never transmodify a five and a six though. Like that's not a given. Like you can, you see it, you see it, you see how transmodify is actually really good. And uh, at first I was, uh, I wasn't too sure. I kind of threw it in there and to test it out, and I ended up falling in love with this card. So I definitely really like transmodify. Uh, I like it in BDDs and I like it in this deck. So there you go. Uh, and then uh, two twin twisters. You know, go ahead and pitch that one to the graveyard. Pop some back row. Pop, pitch that machine of fortune to the uh, graveyard. Pop some back row. I can always summon it back. So yeah. And then we're decree. Uh, despite it being in the singles, I need to block that back row and then get it in. So that's that spot for you. Like I said, I already talked about them. I don't like them at all. I wouldn't even recommend running them, but hey, I'm not the Deathspot Master. If the Deathspot Master says, hey, you run them, you run them, then you'll suck. Then, uh, then I guess, but you know, uh, I don't like them. I don't like seven, I don't like eight. Uh, and this can be a replacement for this. Uh, extra deck. One Deathspot Jet. I, I always fuck this card up. Like, it's a good synchro monster and it has synergy with the death Mall monsters and everything, but I always fuck it up, but you should run one just just to run it. Alright. Trish, this deck can trust you, so yeah, prepare. Uh you got that Scar Scarlight, so good. Got that hot. Got that uh, Black Rose if need be. Got that Yazi, another thing. Uh of course you can do this play with uh synchroing uh one with four or uh, five. And you get both the juicy effects, you know, normal monster, uh probably not, but the, the pendant monster your opponent controls one monster. Uh, they, you can pretty much take it. You can't attack the turn, but you keep it permanently just because you sync out with a Pendo monster, so not bad. And then, of course, we got another six. We got Barkyon, Bark, they have traps. We got Beast because, like I said, these are Earths. These are Earth tuners, non tuners. So, Beast, Barkyon, let's go. I'm Aegis. Yep, go 2 5, even over Disaster. Alright, couple of XE monsters. Uh, M7, just in case. I summon two sixes. There's M7. Uh, two fives, going to the Nova, going to the Infinity. Uh, big guy, I don't know what's still in here. I think it's for when I still ran seven, but I, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, Fortress. I was like, wait, why is this in here? Fortress. Uh, just in case I do that play. Fortress. Actually, that won me a duel uh, doing that play. So, Fortress. And then, four, cast up. So, like I said, uh, do, I, do I think my, my deck spot deck is the best? No. But, like usual, every deck that on, is on here, as the end result comes out to be fun, cool, creative, and synergetic. And I had a lot of fun with this deck, you know? So I appreciate you guys uh, voting and putting it on here. Uh, so if you guys wanted to come back, you know, it might be on the polls for January. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But if it is, you guys vote on it. It can always come back for, uh, an, you know, another month or so. Especially if, you know, we get like, I mean, we have Despot uh, 8 and we have Despot 7. But they kind of scroll, goes up to, you know, 10. So uh, whatever, hopefully Despot 9 does something awesome. You know, even if it's just, you know, uh, this card cannot be, you know, uh, normal summoner set. This card can only be... Uh, well, this card can not be special summoned. Uh, this card can only be normal summoned if you tribute three Despot monsters, and it's super strong and super awesome, you know. Uh, so, you know, maybe like do something like with that. Maybe have him a big, have him as a big beefy tower esque Despot monster to actually incentivize more uh, pendulum summoning. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about this deck. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and take the deck, take it, have fun, you know. So that's it. Deck profiles are done. I, whew, at least for the next month or so. So it was fun. It was fun having additional daily duels on the deck profile. Uh, deck, there's not many deck profiles on the channel. And lots of my viewers and subscribers say, hey, hey, you don't do a lot of deck profiles. No, I don't. So it's good to go ahead and just do this whole week. Just deck profiling. It's good. It's fun. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, make sure you watch uh, Power Rangers if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.